there was a young boy during the time of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam who wanted to build a fence around his house. So he comes to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he says, Ya Rasulullah, I want to build a fence around my house except my neighbor's tree is blocking it. I've asked him to give it to me but he refuses. Can you please intercede? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam goes to this man and tells him, I will buy this tree off of you. The man says, no, I don't want to sell it. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, give this tree as sadaqah and I promise you a tree and a garden in paradise. The man says, no, this is my right. I'm keeping it. Some of the other companions, they gathered around. They asked, Ya Rasulullah, this offer that you made of having a tree in paradise, was it only for this man or is it for everyone? He said, it's for everyone. So Abu Dahdah radiallahu anh, he goes to this man and he says, you know who I am, I'm Abu Dahdah. I own one of the biggest gardens in all of Medina, over 300 palm trees. I will give you all of these trees if you just give me this one tree. Just give me this one tree. The man says, have you lost your mind? Why would you trade your whole garden for this one tree? And he says, that's none of your business. So he says, Khalas, take this one tree and give me your garden. Abu Dahda, he gives the tree to the boy, he builds his fence. He makes his way home. And he's excited, he's pumped up. As he's running home, he's shouting to his wife, Ya Umma Dahda, we've had such a profitable trade. His wife gets excited as well. You know what happened? Did we just get a million dollars? What happened? He shouts out, We've traded our dunya for our akhirah. She shouts back, Allahu Akbar, what a profitable trade that has been. Now I think about this moment, you know, what would have happened in our times, in our day and age, that a man says, I've traded everything <laughs> for one single tree. But Ummah Dahda, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with her. She's like, may Allah be pleased with you, Ya Dahda. He comes into the house, they pack their stuff up, and they get ready to, they get ready to leave. Now, the, 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 uh, the most sentimental moment of the story is, is in its conclusion. That if for any of you who have children, you'll know that when you give your children something, you want to bring them happiness. You don't ever want to make them cry. If they ever desire anything, you want them to have it. So as they're leaving the house, the children of Abu Dahdah, they have dates in their hand. Abu Dahdah, he asks them, Oh children, did you pick up these dates before I came into the house or did you pick them up after I came into the house. They said, Oh my father, we picked them up after you came into the house. And Abu Dahda, one by one, took the dates out of his children's hand and threw them back into the house. And he told his children, Inshallah, Allah will play, replace it with something better in the Akhirah. These were examples for us, SubhanAllah, that even their children, they didn't cry thereafter. They understood that Jannah is everlasting, Jannah is going to be better. سبيل مريح كان هدايا صحي كي تستريح وهو